Hi, my name is Ernie Wong. I'm the founder and principal of Site Design Group, or an urban design and landscape architecture group uh, firm here, based here in Chicago. Um, we've had the pleasure of having Shuya Gong uh, intern with us this summer. Uh, Shuya is a um, recent graduate of Whitney Young Magnet High School, one of the premier high schools, uh, Chicago Public School System. Uh, of which they have been recognized for a number of their alumni, uh, probably most notably Michelle Obama. Uh, Shuya is on her way to Harvard University next year, um, studying medical, biomedical, biomedical engineering, uh, which we're really excited about. But we, we, she's uh, been such a tremendous asset to our uh, to our firm over the summer, and um, we just wanted to talk about that a little bit. So she, how is it that you discovered Site Design Group, and, and um, tell us a little bit about some of the things that you have discovered, I guess, over the summer. Okay, so I discovered Site Design Group, um, I think it was two years ago, when we were all at Skinner Park for lunch. Skinner Park it is right by Whitney Young um, High School I went to, and so there was some construction going on, and we excited about the new stuff that was being put in and one of my friends, Justin, uh, is your son. And he said, oh yeah, my dad's doing this um, and site design group is in charge of the landscaping and the play equipment and I thought that was super awesome. Um, so senior year rolled around and summer came and you had a job opening so I applied and it's been great. Um, so the, I guess the aha moment of the summer that I had about working at Site Design Group is, you know, what landscape architecture is. Because when you think of architecture, you're thinking skyscrapers and residential homes and buildings and things like that. But what you're not thinking of is um, the, the everyday things around you. And I think landscape architecture is like the perfect love child between art and engineering and nature. And it's, it's all the little details that make up your world and put you in where you are um, that you might not necessarily notice but are absolutely integral to creating a community and creating a sense of you know geography and identity so. thanks so much well yeah. we're glad that you discovered us uh, we we it's been interesting to me uh that uh, number, well, two things that one of them is that you are interested in um, in biomedical technology uh, which is a far fetch from uh, what this discipline is but also your interest in music as well and how that kind of really plays in with what Site Design Group does and, and how we uh, perform I guess and I, 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 if you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah so I've been playing percussion with the Percussion Scholarship Group of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra for the past nine years um, and there's I mean, I think with everything that you do to a high level, there's a certain discipline and a certain standard that you achieve. And, you know, I've seen that so, so much over the past summer at Site Design Group. You know, there's, there's a sense of focus and there's a sense of driven motivation from everybody at the office and the projects that you do and the parks that come up. You know, you just see this whole um, overall put together collectiveness and high, high standards that you take a step back and you say, you know, this is quality, this is this is what you've had in your mind and we were actually able to put into the landscape. So which is a perfect segue into uh, kind of the whole idea of discipline mm -hmm. and expectation. Uh, Shuya was the class president of this this year's graduating class of 2013. And I was very moved by her commencement speech, uh, although she likes to say that I paraphrase this a lot. Um, but what I had heard was she was, it was uh, uh, telling her classmates of their incredible talent. Uh, there are five of you that are actually going to Harvard this year. Mm -hmm. The average ACT score at Whitney Young for this graduating class was 27.8. 98% of you had applied to college and are going to college. Uh, your expectations for your classmates have been such, uh, and I, uh, what I heard from your commencement speech was, don't bother Facebooking me, I want to read about you in the papers. And that's how I want to continue to communicate with you. 
Talk it's, about it's, it's a little paraphrase. I believe in the power of social networking and Facebook and intend to keep well connected with everyone. No, but, you know, the whole idea behind that is that, you know, I really am excited about everything my classmates are doing. I'm really excited to hear about their personal accomplishments and everything that they've been up to. But because we're living in such a global community, we're living in a world that, you know, communication is fast, it's quick, and everything you do affects everything else globally, I really want to hear about your accomplishments from the entire world because that expectation makes it so that you're going to be doing things that everybody gets excited about. You're doing things that, you know, influential people that are already established today are noticing and being excited about and wanting to take you to the next step. So I, you know, I love seeing my newsfeed come up with things that my friends are doing, but more importantly, I want to hear it from the entire world. So having that goal, that like lofty expectation for people, I think, is something for them to reach towards. And um, when you have it set that high up, you just keep pushing yourself. So. Well, we, we certainly hope that we can live up to your expectations. <laughs> um, we've been delighted to have you here. We, we, we've uh, had you do all kinds of things from uh, uh, CAD work that you learned here to painting this wall, <laughs> this dry erase wall, and uh, but the things that you've contributed have really been amazing, and, and we wish you luck in your uh, in the future. We hope that you're going to be back and, and help us out and continue to stay in contact with us. Mm -hmm. But thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.